Kiko Forever Ultra G Foundation in the shade 178. I already done my eye plan off camera just to make it easier. So now I'm just going to apply my foundation. I'm going to make sure I blend it properly. Make sure you blend that foundation to the heaven, guys. So yeah, and also I want to say sorry. I completely forgot to actually um record the intro because when I finished the makeup, my friend came over, so I forgot to record the intro basically. But I still like the video, so I tried to put it out. So now I'm gonna apply um my primer portion for my eyes to make sure my eyeshadow stick on guys this makeup look is the makeup look i do almost every single time when i want to do a video so i'm going to apply in my hand um i just like applying my hand to be honest so yeah now i'm going to take my mac palette the one that you guys know already i'm going to use my favorite transition color which i think is I'm back. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly, but I use this transition color almost every single time, guys. I'm not even lying. Almost every time I use this one in almost all my makeup look. And the different things that I didn't like in the beginning, but oh well. So make sure you blend that properly. Start from your crease and you blend that out. Now I'm gonna take the um the neutral shade of the palette which is called i think it's called pop seed and i'm going to apply that just on my lid and then i will make sure that i blend it a little bit with my transition color not too much now i'm going to take the last color which is called sketch and i like applying this just in like on the after corner of my eye just to make it look like i'm doing like a um how do you call this again? Like, I can't even talk anymore. Like, I want to make it look a bit darker, basically. I don't know how to explain this, but I want to make it a little bit darker. So, yeah, now I'm going to transition straight to my contour. And then I'm going to use cinnamon. And I want to have, like, a really light contour. Not too much, just a little bit. And then, yeah, I'm going to apply that under my eyes. On, on my forehead and in the bridge of my nose and I'm just going to blend that using my beauty blender and then yeah so just make sure you blend that out properly guys I was being silly sorry <laughs> so yeah I'm going to spray some fix plus on my beauty blender and then I'm going to make sure blend that out I'm not even joking that's a mistake I used to do. I wasn't blending my under eyes, my, my eyelid properly. So make sure you blend that, guys. Blend that to the heaven, to the God. So yeah. Um. Now I'm gonna take the. <laughs> I was playing silly again. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the darker shade of my palette, which is called Carol. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put my contour. So I like popping my cheek in, so I'll actually see the line. And yeah, so sorry guys if I don't use like technical makeup, um, like vocabulary or something, but I'm not a makeup artist, so I just learned on YouTube. I decided to contour my nose too, but just a little because I was going for that all natural not too much like going on on my face because that's a makeup look i do almost every time so yeah guys yes and then take your angle your angle board for your contour and just make sure you blend that out as well so i like bring it upward and mix it a little bit with my um um i light my not with my concealer just to make sure that there's no ash line between them so look what i'm doing i'm just blending that upwards so now i'm gonna contour my nose i'm not really good at contouring nose yet like i'm still learning that's why i don't do that every time sometimes i feel like doing it but sometimes i don't so i wanted to do it for this video just for you guys <laughs> Uh, 
So now I'm going to apply my beignet, my setting, my beignet um, powder just to set my under eyes concealer. And then instead of like I used to put it there and let it bake, but now I just do this because I feel I want to let it bake. Um, my face look too archy and I don't like the final outcome. So that's what I like doing instead. I just put it there and then I wipe it off as quick as possible. I don't know what happened, but I felt like I applied my highlight off camera. My camera was not working. You guys will see what I'm, what I'm saying later on in the video. So now I'm just gonna apply. I'm gonna. I just, I'm just gonna. I'm um, set my contour with with the with the slick um the slick um contour palette, the slick powder contour palette so not too much because this palette is really dark like if you put too much it will show like it will look too just too much if you get what i mean like just too much now i'm gonna wipe my uh i'm gonna wipe my uh banana powder oh i can't even talk anymore guys sorry i did a mistake here i apply my eyelid i think off camera i don't know what happened but I noticed that when I was trying to do the video that I couldn't find the power I was applying my eyelid. I don't know what, like if you guys notice, I already have my eyelid on, but I think that when I was applying my eyelid, um, the camera went off or something. Now I'm just applying my lip liner, the, it's Coco by Sleek. I love this lip liner, like I use it almost every single time. It's just everything you guys should get it and I think it was four pounds and it's really good now I'm gonna use my new um, lip gloss for Uber Dicky I actually forgot the name is it shame or I don't think it does have a name it does it does have a name on but yeah it's just this new um, lip gloss from Uber Dicky that I'm gonna blend it out yes I just went up. I just went back again with my um, lip liner so yeah guys that's the final result really quick easy and simple makeup that's a makeup I do almost every time when I have I want to do a video a shooting because it's just easy and I just love it and I'm going to don't forget to set that set everything up with my setting i'm just going to set everything with my setting pad my setting spray sorry for mac and yeah guys that's the final result yes thank you so much for watching guys don't forget like share subscribe don't forget be kind with everyone around you be a diva be a badass and spread love of course it's free and you will get just positive back we will just get putting positive Thing back to you so yeah guys thank you so much and i will catch you guys on my last on my next video bye